Good morning, Mark Schinnerer here with your Monday Mentor, coming to you from the porch again today. I want to show you, I had a little harvest this morning, so I thought I would just show you real quick what my harvest looked like. <clears throat> Got tomatoes growing on my porch, and I've been watching these for several, uh, a few weeks. I harvested these this morning, some nice looking tomatoes. It's an heirloom type tomato. Um, looking forward to eating those. Nice and firm. Firm tomatoes. Just wanted to show you what's going on here <laughs> on the, the little bitty farm on my porch. But I want to talk to you about learning lessons from ants. And we need to act like an ant. Truly. Have you ever watched an ant hill have you ever watched what ants do just kind of follow them kept kept your distance because they will climb up your pant leg and bite you um but have you ever just kind of watched what an ant does now if you've been to a picnic you probably had ants um a lot of times you get little sugar ants in your house and they form little trails um but ants can teach us a lot of things what does an ant do when it comes across an obstacle does it give up does it go home does it say Psh, well here's an obstacle in my path i guess i'll just go home and turn on netflix and you know watch the other ants go in and out no they don't they find a way around it they go over it they go under it they find a way around it depending on the obstacle they may even move it I've seen them move things out of their way because that's the path they're going. But most of the time, they will go over it, they'll go around it, they'll go under it. What do you do when you come across an obstacle in your business, in your own personal life, in your career, in your path to achieve a goal? What do you do when you come up against an obstacle? Do you just go, well, there's an obstacle, I guess I'll just go home and give up. No, you need to be like an ant. Find a way around it. Go over it. Move it. Most of the time, you just have to turn a corner and go around it. Ants are so determined. They're, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about ants. Be more like an ant. Learn from the ants. The, I think I titled this today, Three Lessons That You Can Learn From An Ant. The first one, never quit. Ants climb over, they climb under, they go around, they find another way. Ants never quit. We should never quit. If we have a goal in mind, if we have a purpose we're pursuing, if we have a project we're working on and we come across obstacles, that doesn't mean it wasn't meant to be. That just means that may not be the way. And we need to find a go away, go around it, to climb over it. Find another way, find another path. The second lesson from an ant is to think ahead. You see ants, you watch ants, they are always gathering, always, nonstop, always gathering. And for two reasons. One, because they gotta feed everybody during the spring and summer, during the year, but they are planning for the future. They are thinking ahead. They are gathering for the winter. In summer, they're gathering for the winter. Squirrels do the same thing. They'll get pecans and acorns out of the tree and they'll bury them all over your yard for the winter because then they know where they are and they can find them and they still have food to eat the rest of the year. But ants are relentless. They will continuously gather food to store for the winter because they're always thinking ahead. Just like us, we need to plan for the obstacles in our life. We need to plan for those storms that come up that I talk about in my book, The Success Grower. You can get it on Amazon. The storms that come up in our life, you can plan for them. You may not know exactly what they are, but you can plan for them so that when they happen, your mindset is such that you can get around it. You can go through it and come out the other side to continue to pursue your goal. The key is plan ahead. Ants are relentless. They're always planning ahead. The third lesson you can learn from ants, it's never enough. 
they keep pushing. They will keep going after the food. They will keep searching. They will keep bringing it in because it's never enough. They are planning for the biggest winter, the biggest storm, because it's never enough. They never know how big it's going to be and how much food they're really going to need to have. So it's never enough. They keep pushing. It's, and that's the way it is in our own lives. When we're pursuing a goal, when we're building a business, we should keep pushing because it's never enough that we have today. You can never gather enough because you don't know what's going to happen in the future. You need to do all you can to reach your potential, to pursue your goals, to achieve what you want to achieve. Do as much as you can. Do all that you can to get there and to achieve it. And the only way to do that is to think positively. Ants ha don't have a negative thought in their body. Probably ants don't have a thought in their body, but ants don't have a negative thought. They are always pursuing the food. And they're relentless. They will always find a way to get it. And if, if that piece of food is too big for them, guess what? There's help. They find people. So you too should find people. Find a mentor. Find a mastermind group. I'm, I'm starting a mastermind group. If you're interested, contact me, private message me, and we'll talk about the mastermind group, which will help you get farther faster. It's a short lesson today. It's all about the ants. Learn from the ants. I'll tell you these three lessons again. Never quit. Ants never give up. They never quit. They find a way around, they find a way over, they find a way under. Never quit pursuing your goals. Ants think ahead. They gather for the winter in the summertime. They plan for the storms that are going to come up. Because when it rains, they go underground and they wait it out and then they come back. You too should think ahead and plan for the obstacles that come up in your life and the challenges that come up in your life. And the third thing you can learn from ants is it's never enough. If you think you've done enough, It'll, it won't be enough. You have to keep pushing. You have to do all you can. Do as much as you can to stay focused on achieving the goal that you want for your life. This is Monday, beginning of the week. I'm Mark Schinnerer with your Monday Mentor coming to you from the porch again today in a beautiful fall day. Hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.